Han So-hee has been the face of every single tabloid recently, and for all the wrong reasons. First, she was criticized for having a public outburst, and then she became embroiled in very controversial dating rumors. In other words, it hasn't been looking good for her. For those who don't know, So-hee and famous actor Ryu jun yol are a couple now, and they're receiving a lot of criticism for their relationship. On March 15th, rumor broke out that So-hee and jun yol were seeing each other after a Japanese citizen had allegedly spotted them on vacation together in Hawaii. The minute this rumor hit the internet, everything went up in flames. People couldn't believe what they were reading as jun yol had just come out of a seven-year-long relationship with Lee Yeri. The two broke up back in November of 2023, which clearly is isn't that long ago. Jun Yeol and Hye Ri were the iconic couple from the hit drama Reply 1988, which is why fans were extremely attached to them and many expected them to get married soon. The two never shared the reason behind their breakup and mostly kept a low profile, but everything changed after the rumor of Sohee and Jun Yeol dating broke out. When the dating rumors hit the internet, Jun Yeol and Sohee's respective agencies watched the chaos unfold and made sure to respond quickly by denying any involvement between the two. Jun Yeol side said that they would not respond to the eyewitness reports as it is his personal life. Similarly, Sohee's agency turned down the rumors too, writing, We can confirm that Han Sohee is on her first personal vacation since her debut with her friends. Other than that, it is our actress's private life, so we ask for your understanding. These statements were anything but convincing, and they only made fans more suspicious. At some point, a flight information account posted news about the couple returning to South Korea. Allegedly, they had information for sale about the one-way flight they they supposedly took together to get back home. Fans believed this was proof that they were in fact dating because why else would you take the same flight? By now, the internet was already turned upside down, but when Sohee made an Instagram post about her trip in Hawaii, things got even messier. The pictures were clearly taken by someone else, and fans believed the person behind the phone was Junyol. This was the first post she shared after the rumors hit the internet, and netizens were completely taken aback by her audacity. She was acting incredibly unbothered bothered for someone who was the subject of some very controversial allegations. So he's public image was taking hits from every side, and this only got worse when Jun Yeol's ex-girlfriend Hye Ri decided to react to the situation. She posted a very cryptic picture of palm trees on her Instagram story, captioning it with nothing more than funny. The timing of this post was very suspicious, as she uploaded it right after the dating scandal broke out. It was very obviously directed towards Jun Yeol and So Hee, and it didn't seem like Hye Ri was too happy about their relationship. She made this extra clear by unfollowing Jun Yeol on Instagram on the very same day. As a result of Hye Ri's negative response, netizens directed all their anger towards So Hee. People were accusing her of being a homewrecker, saying that Jun Yeol must have left Hye Ri for her. The breakup announcement was made in November of last year, which conveniently is also when So Hee met Jun Yeol for the first time. It's reported that So Hee visited his art exhibit only two days after he announced his split from Hye Ri, making netizens believe that they might have had an affair. Air. Most people were convinced there was some infidelity present on Jun Yeol's side since that would explain Hye Ri's passive-aggressive reaction to the news. While fans were showing immense support for Hye Ri, they were completely slandering So Hee, saying that they couldn't believe Jun Yeol would leave Hye Ri for someone like her. NBC News saved So Hee's last shred of dignity by reporting that Jun Yeol never met her until after his relationship with Hye Ri had ended. But that wasn't enough to quiet down the public outrage. After seeing all the chaos unfold, So Hee decided to take matters into her own hands, possibly ruining her own career with a single Instagram post. She addressed the rumors by sharing a meme of a dog leaning on a knife, saying, I don't like people who have a lover, nor do I give them space, interest, or establish a relationship under the guise of friendship, nor do I meddle in other people's relationships. She ended the message by writing, I find it funny too, which was very obviously a clapback at Hye Ri. This didn't sit well with anyone, as people thought it was incredibly disrespectful to act like this towards a senior in the industry, and someone who dated Jun Yeol for over seven years. Netizens couldn't believe what they were seeing. It wasn't even confirmed that Yeri made that post as shade towards Sohi, so the public thought she was acting way too recklessly. Sharing their disbelief, someone wrote, Han Sohi is so pitiful. She was cursed out to the point where she was almost ousted from the industry and she gets cursed out more for uploading this. This post tarnished her reputation to the point that she had to delete it out of fear of receiving even more backlash. As if this wasn't bad enough already, 
her next move was like a fatal blow to her career. So he decided to share a lengthy post on her personal blog, confirming that she is in fact seeing Jun Yol. Anyone who even tried to defend her was in complete shock, as people initially believed she tried to turn down the rumors with her shady Instagram story. Clearing up the confusion behind the timeline of her relationship, she wrote, It was already the beginning of 2024, and his breakup with that person was already wrapped up in early 2023. I heard that news articles about the breakup came out in November. Based on this fact, I confirmed my own feelings, and I kept going with the relationship. It turns out the two did in fact meet at the art exhibition in November, but that it was never their intention to start dating. Or at least, according to what so he claims. But as you'll soon find out, the timeline doesn't really make sense and reporters are already calling out Sohi for allegedly lying. But before that, she also addressed her immature Instagram post saying, Yes, it was cringy and lame. I should have kept my silence, but I think I lost my cool for a moment and rudely acted because I had to see and hear all the rumors and stories about me against my will. She apologized for letting her emotions take over and promised that she would apologize to Hie Ri in person. As an explanation for her strange actions lately, she wrote, I think I'm at a point where I should admit that I've changed and go back to where I came from. Maybe going on a vacation after two years made me lose my marbles. So he explained she felt the need to come clean because she couldn't stand to watch the media call her a home wrecker. While she held herself accountable, this wasn't enough to satisfy angry netizens as the damage was already done. People couldn't move past the fact that she made Yeri look like a bitter liar, even though she ended up being right in the end. The public also started criticizing her for not apologizing to Yeri right away, especially since she's so he's senior. Both Knets and international fans started calling her behavior very immature and unhinged, seriously questioning her character in every aspect. Many started to comment on her blog post, criticizing her for her lack of foresight and control. She ended up receiving many malicious comments, even responding to a few of them. One user told her she couldn't possibly have sunk any lower, to which she responded with, I'm sad because I know that my precious image was created by the support of my fans and everyone rather than myself. Even if I fall because of this matter, I will take it to heed. In another reply, so he admitted she acted rashly because she couldn't deal with the fact that she was painted in a negative light. People were referring to her as Hwan Sung, which is Korean slang to call someone a rebound or a cheating case. This pushed her over the edge, which led to all the drama and possibly even the end of any good reputation she had left. Netizens were shocked about the fact that she kept replying to malicious comments, going as far as begging her agency to take her phone away. Some fans believed it looked like she was spiraling out of guilt, which is definitely sad. One of the comments she made in response to angry netizens only made the situation worse for her. Even though Sohi stated she didn't start dating Jun Yol until after his breakup with Yeri, many started questioning the truthfulness of this. In response to questions about the timeline of her relationship, Sohi commented, What I said about the timing of their breakup wasn't something I heard personally from Ryu Jun Yol. I wrote that based on an article from June of last year, but if it was out of line, I'll delete it. I was trying to prove that we didn't get together while he was still dating Yeri, but I think this was rude as well. After she made this comment, all hell broke loose. Since Exports News reported there were no articles published in June about rumors of a breakup between Jun Yol and Hye Ri, at this point, nothing about the story was adding up, which was a very bad look for her. The dating scandal quickly turned into a potential cheating scandal, and fans were anything but happy. Some people came to her defense, claiming that Jun Yol could have lied to her about his breakup, but others still thought it was strange that she was getting her information from the media instead of the person itself. There's no denying that Sohee is going to have a hard time recovering from this, especially since she was already receiving bad publicity for her questionable behavior at the Paris Fashion Week she attended at the beginning of March. While she was there, she was displaying some seriously strange behavior, and netizens even accused her of being rude to the people around her. She was under fire for yelling at people in the audience, as witnesses claimed she commanded people to be quiet. Apparently, this was because a con artist posing as a journalist crashed the event and caused disturbances. Fans argued So He simply used her influence to help control the situation. It's up for debate whether screaming at the audience is the best way to do that, though. There was video evidence of the incident, and it went viral. It's safe to say that the people who saw it didn't take it lightly. Netizens were accusing her of being blackout drunk or even on some sort of illegal substance because to them, she looked anything but normal. Eventually, more clips of that night started 
circulating online, making her the subject of even more hate. According to netizens, Sohee was making very strange movements, making it look like she was on something. In one video, she blew out the candles on a cake and then proceeded to play with them, making some seriously weird facial expressions. In another clip, she was seen hanging out with the DJ, making a few odd faces that had people worried. Netizens were convinced she was taking illegal substances, which is definitely not a good thing to hear about yourself. Others argued it could have just been the makeup style she was wearing that was making her look odd, since her eyes looked huge. Whatever went down that night, it definitely didn't help her reputation at all. It doesn't seem like she'll recover from these scandals anytime soon, but hopefully these mistakes won't cost her everything.